Hi, my name is Zarita Jones, and I happen to live at Chesapeake Apartments, and I'm also a member of ACE. Over the last 40 years, Mike Najjar and his family, led by Mike and Patty Najjar, have built a real estate empire spread over a network of business entities worth over $1.5 million and collecting over $100 million in affordable housing rental profits from low-income families across Los Angeles and Riverside counties. And there are other properties throughout California, along with a growing presence, not only in Nevada, but Texas as well. However, Despite Najjar's prolific purchasing power, the attention to detail not found in every one of his properties is truly unmatched. In the ability of management to respond to repairs for broken windows and on the second stories, inoperable showers caused by faulty plumbing, the pervasive mold caused by literally lakes of sewage with mosquito larvae swimming underneath their buildings is astounding. Perhaps the growing achievement of Regency Management and Ajar Company affiliate, the company on-site property managers providing verbal threats to their tenants and threatening if, if, they, if they decide they wanna call the housing department or public health agencies to report their housing issues. Then of course ICE or Child Protective Services, or even an eviction notice will show up at their door. But wait a second, the jars do what? I'm missing something. Why is Patty Najjar the chair of USC Arcata Hospital Foundation when their own tenants can't stay out of the public hospital because of respiratory problems? that only started after living on their properties. How can she run a charitable hospital foundation when she knows there are rivers of raw sewage running underneath her buildings? How can she say she cares about healthcare when her tenants and their kids are spending weeks in hospitals in the same city as the hospital that she that's entrusted to care for? Why won't the Najars stop filling their bank accounts and fix the mess that they've created. Why doesn't Patty care for the families that she collects rent from? Why doesn't Patty care about sick kids when they live on our property? Why do we continue to pay them to make us ill?